Hey everybody, welcome to podcast 4.5 or the protein podcast. I know we've already done some of this in class, so this should be reviewed pretty much for you. Uh, we're going to take a look at what proteins are made of and then how the folding happens uh, and what kind of structures we have going on there. So remember from class, proteins are made of amino acids or chains of amino acids. Okay, amino acids, these are the monomers or the single pieces of the chain. And an amino, okay, the word amino means this is a, um, a molecule with nitrogen. And nitrogen is the letter N. So amino acids or molecules or monomers that have nitrogen as part of them. And the bonds that occur, occur are also special bonds. Uh, when we have a carbon to nitrogen bond, this is called a peptide bond. And this sh shows up in polymers, okay, or not polymers, in proteins. So we have this peptide bond. That means that the polymers are called polypeptides. Okay, this is the polymer of proteins. So proteins are polypeptides and polypeptides are proteins and they come from chains of amino acids that are connected with a peptide bond. Okay, uh, Some common proteins are um, like keratin, K-E-R-A-T-I-N. Okay, This is your hair and your fingernails, toenails, stuff like that. Very, very hard. Uh, some proteins are also called enzymes. We're going to do these in blue because these are special. Okay, these are enzymes, and the enzymes are special proteins that can build or destroy other molecules, other macromolecules. So these are special protein that build or destroy other molecules. So enzymes work in your body to either build up polymers of things or they work in your body to destroy polymers or they work in your body to transport things other places. Uh, hemoglobin in your blood um, is a protein, okay, but it's not an enzyme. So all enzymes are protein, but not all proteins are enzymes. Okay. So again, basic structure, this, these are things we've already looked at in class. So let's take a look at how protein structures actually go. And proteins do not function until they are folded. Okay, it's, it's like a foldable thing. It doesn't do what it needs to do until it's in that specific configuration. So the primary structure of a protein, this first degree structure, this is simply the amino acid sequence. So this is amino acid one, two, three, four, whatever, in the specific order that they need to be in. So this is specific. Okay, if one amino acid is not in the right place, the protein will not function correctly. The secondary structure then is either going to be a, uh, a spiral, a helix, or it's going to be a sheet. Okay, so the spiral, these proteins, when, they, when the um, monomers stick together, sometimes they don't fit in a straight line, okay? And so what we get is we kind of get this spiral. It's hard to do in perspective, okay? But essentially these amino acid monomers, they kind of spin together in loops like a spring. Or they can be in a sheet, okay? And the sheet is not perfectly flat like paper. It's like we fold a paper up into a fan and then let it out. So if we're looking at it, it would be like you've got a, a space here, and then the next one kind of comes down like that, and it goes up and back and forth. Oops. I can't draw. So the sheet kind of waves in and out like a fan, and the spiral you know, looks like a spiral. This is the secondary structure. The tertiary structure then gets a little more complicated because the spiral will, this is the actual folding of the protein uh, into a specific shape. 
So some areas of the protein will be in a spiral, others will be in a sheet, and then we can take that like a big long chain and fold it up into a smaller molecule. Um, and this is, they're, they're kind of glob, globby. It's not a word, globby, or globulous. But they, they take like a, like the shape of something. I, I can't really figure out a better way to say it. So the tertiary structure is the folding of the protein, and then quaternary structure, or fourth degree, is when multiple proteins forming one large structure. Uh, so think about it like a desk, okay? There's the top part of your desk, which is flat, and then there are the legs of the desk that are the tubes, okay? And we have to kind of bend the tubes into the right way, or on a chair. You know, you've got the flat part of the chair, and then the tubes are the legs. So you have to bend the legs into the right shape. You have to kind of cut that sheet for the seat into the right place. And then we need to put them together into one large unit. Uh, and that's kind of how proteins work. So we start with the spiral or the sheet, and then we have to fold those into the right shape, and then we have to glue and put everything together into one supergiant molecule. Uh, so that's proteins in a nutshell. You can answer these questions now on your own outside of class, and then we can take a look at these when we get to class and when we're doing the labs.